Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Good, I'm good. Okay. How you been doing all week? Because I asked you, I asked you last week mm -hmm. to um, collect some personal data on mm -hmm. um, your anxiety in social situations. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a little better since last week. I was able to go to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I wasn't cured, but it, it felt less than previous times before we started. Okay. So last week you told me when you went to the grocery store, what was going on through your mind in in, in your mind? Mm -hmm. Can you can you um, tell me those again? I was saying that I was nervous and I thought that everyone was looking at me mm -hmm. and that if I did something stupid that they would think that I'm a failure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you said you when people you were um nervous and if people were looking at you you were a failure. That's what was going on through your mind. Okay. I'm sorry. It really threw me off. Um, so as you went through the grocery store, uh, this week, what, what were the thoughts going on in your mind? It was the same. I still felt very nervous. I could mm -hmm. feel it in my chest, like my heart was beating really fast and my, my hands were sweaty and I was just kind of like in a panic and I wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Did you leave? Once I got all my things, I did leave. Oh, but you stayed, you got your groceries. Yeah, I was able to get my groceries. Okay. So that's better than before. Mm -hmm. So what you told me were some physical reactions to your anxiety. Nervousness, mm -hmm. your chest was, your heart was beating mm -hmm. fast, um, and you were sweaty. Mm -hmm. So what about the thoughts? Because the week before you're saying, I'm a failure, if mm -hmm. someone looks at me. And uh, what, what were your thoughts this week? They were like... Oh gosh, like I hope that no one is looking at me, or I wonder what they're thinking. Like when they are looking at me, are they judging me? Mm -hmm. Things like that. Mm -hmm. So as you're as you're naming those thoughts right now, mm -hmm. do you do you feel like you're hurrying through your your speaking, your sharing, or are you taking your time? Oh, I think I'm a little nervous talking about okay. it. Mm -hmm. So so why don't you just relax a little, lean back in your chair, take a deep breath. There you go. Does that feel better? A little bit. Okay. So, so tell me again the thoughts that are going on through your mind when you're when you're going through the ads. So you're going down the um, produce aisle and mm -hmm. someone looks at you. I think well, they're probably judging me. Why else would they be looking at me? What are they? What's what's the judgment saying? What are you saying? Like, give me a mm -hmm. sentence on the judgment. Um, maybe they're judging what I'm getting. Like, oh, like she shouldn't be getting that or. Maybe they're judging what I'm wearing. It's not necessarily the groceries. It's just me in general. Like, oh, like that color doesn't look good on her. Or mm -hmm. like she would look better if she did this. And it's just mm -hmm. like these thoughts that they're thinking about me as a person. Mm -hmm. And then, and then as, you're, as you're telling me these thoughts, tell me your feelings around those. Like are you mm -hmm. feeling uh, more anxiety or sadness? Probably not sadness. I don't know. Not, not sadness. I am feeling more anxiety and, and insecurity is probably mm -hmm. a really big one. Insecurity. Mm -hmm. So so last week, Becca, I explained to you the whole process about um, cognitive behavioral therapy, and it's mm -hmm. about changing your thoughts. Mm -hmm. So are you willing to um, come up with some uh, reframing your thoughts so, mm -hmm. so you can go through the grocery store and, and calmly? I think that would help me. Okay, which I do want to remind you how how awesome it was that you you went shopping mm -hmm. on your own. When was the last time you you uh, you did that? It's been a little while. Okay, mm -hmm. but you have to eat, right? Right. Okay, so good for you for for doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So, in your mind, what else could you say to yourself uh, instead of that person is judging at me? Judging. Well, let me ask you a question before we go into that. If if someone is going down the grocery aisle and they mm -hmm. they drop an item or mm -hmm. or they're taking their time or um, what do you think about them? Um, I'm not judging them. Mm -hmm. It's just oh, mm -hmm. they dropped a fruit. They're gonna pick it up and they're just gonna walk along. Or if it's like a big mess, I'll think oh, I should help them and go over and help them. But it's not mm -hmm. judgment. It's not the thoughts that I think mm -hmm. people are having towards me when so, I drop things. 
So do you have any insight why they might be judging you if you're not judging them? No, I think it just comes from a belief that I do things that are stupid. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So, so like I said, the cognitive behavior therapy about reframing your thought. So what, what, what new thought could you have instead of saying people are judging me or I'm stupid? Uh, probably that it doesn't matter that I dropped a fruit. It's not a big deal. I'll just pick it up and move on. Okay, so not a big deal. Mm -hmm. And pick it up and move it on. So what I'm doing is, um, is writing these down. Because I'm going to give you homework. Okay, and, and w which I'll tell you about later. Okay, so let's, 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 let's do this. Let's imagine that you're walking down the uh, cereal aisle, mm -hmm. right? And you see um, a lady, right, with, with her kids, mm -hmm. right? So, so what would your uh, old thoughts be or your current thoughts? About how the lady is seeing me? Yes. Um, probably that she's judging me. Mm -hmm. Something like, oh, like, I wonder what that girl's doing. Or why is she getting that cereal or why is she wearing that? Mm -hmm. So, and then what do we decide for the new thoughts? That the lady doesn't care what cereal that I'm getting and that it doesn't matter. Okay. So the lady doesn't care and it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And I'm picking the cereal that I like and what's mm -hmm. important to me. Does that sound... Mm -hmm. Does that sound right? Okay, I'm picking the cereal that I like, and that's important to me. Mm -hmm. that, that sounds like something you would say to yourself now? Yeah. I mean, I could try that. That sounds better than the thoughts that I was having before. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to remember that? Because typically you would go into the anxious thoughts. How would you mm -hmm. remember this new reframing, this new thought? What would be, what would be a good way for you to remember? Um, I think just maybe reciting it or writing it down myself or mm -hmm. or keeping it like on a post-it note mm -hmm. in my purse and looking mm -hmm. over it before I go into the store. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have a cell phone? I do. Okay. Yeah, you could put it in your cell phone like in the notes yeah. section? Mm -hmm. I okay. can do that. Okay. All right. All right. So what about, uh, I think last week we, we started with the grocery store. So tell me about another situation where you, where you feel anxious. Mm -hmm. When coworkers invite me to like mm -hmm. little get togethers, that makes me nervous. Mm -hmm. Just knowing that they're all gonna be there. So what thoughts are going through your mind when you get invited to a party? So let's say you go to work mm -hmm. and uh, one of your coworkers says, uh, you know, Becca, hey, you wanna join us Friday night? I'm having a party, like, mm -hmm. can you come? I would be thinking, oh no, everyone from work is going to be there, and I care about what they think. Mm -hmm. And I do want to go because they are my friends, but I'm, I'm nervous that I'm going to do something stupid mm -hmm. at the party, or that I'm going to say something that's silly, mm -hmm. and they're never going to forget that. You know, I'd like to ask you, where, where did you um, come up with the thought that you're stupid? Where did you hear that? Um, I don't know, I think it was just a feeling that I had sometimes like in elementary school, mm -hmm. like when we would be playing on the playground, I would fall down and kids would laugh at me. Mm -hmm. And like, I just, I had that in my mind that people laugh at things that are stupid. Mm -hmm. So do you, have, I can't remember if you told me, do you have children? I don't. Nieces, nephews? Um. Are you around kids at all? Cause what, at I'm, church. Okay, yeah. at church. So. So if you saw a, a child fall down, mm -hmm. um, would you think they were stupid? No. I would go over and I would help them get up. Okay. So I'm wondering if, are you willing to reframe your thoughts about that? Because you said you want to go to the party. Cause I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how could you reframe your thinking around? Maybe that if I do do something stupid, it doesn't. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Is that accurate for you? Uh, or not really? Mm, not really. It still makes me nervous to think about, well, maybe I'll do something stupid and they'll never, like, let me live it down. Wow. Okay. So, mm -hmm. you're thinking that you, that people won't let you live down the things that you do are stupid. 
So if you do something stupid, does that mean that you're stupid? Mm. I don't really like that word, stupid. I guess not, but sometimes I do feel that way. Mm-hmm. That if someone, if if I do something stupid, that that mm-hmm. reflects that I'm stupid. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, I wonder if we could come up with another word besides stupid. Could, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe you made a mistake? Yeah, or maybe that it was silly. Silly okay. isn't such a hard word, I guess. Okay, because that's pretty harsh, stupid. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty harsh on myself most of the time. Okay, so I'm wondering if we could, you know, practice a little more self-compassion. Yeah. Do, do you even know what that looks like? Mm, sometimes I have difficulty with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I'm thinking you're a pretty smart girl. So tell me about a few times in your life where, you, where you've done things that, that uh, came from an educated decision or, or where you felt good about yourself. I'm pretty good at taking care of the kids in the nursery. Like I'm, I'm really good at that. Okay. Oh, so you're around. You're around kids. Yeah, at okay. church. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. At church, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. It's okay. Okay. So, so you you do know how to be compassionate. Mm-hmm. Okay. So instead of calling yourself stupid, or it was just uh, something, it was a mistake. I made a mistake, and I deserve better. Does that mm-hmm. sound right? Or no? Yeah. Yeah. I think it would make things easier on myself just to mm-hmm. see it as a mistake instead of something that defines me. Okay, so let's, where's my paper? Um, oh, my log. So so we have these, let me, I'm going to help you here. So I'm going to give you, this This is going to be your homework. Mm-hmm. So your thought is, as you're, uh, you, you got invited to the party, mm-hmm. right? And when they asked you to come to the party, you're immediately thinking, oh no. Everyone's gonna be there. Okay, so we're gonna. I'm gonna write this up. No, everyone's gonna be there. No, everyone's gonna be there. Okay. All right. And then at that moment, what are you feeling? I'm feeling really nervous. And what? And and you said before that it's you start to get sweaty. Mm-hmm, and my heart beats. And really your heart fast. beats. Okay. So first, we're gonna incorporate. Because I can help you with this. First, we're going to incorporate the breathing. When you lean back in your chair and you lower mm-hmm. your shoulders, did you feel a difference? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. so part of CBT is relaxing, learning how to relax. So can you just take a deep breath? Okay. All right. So let's let's go back to the scene where Bob at work asks you, mm-hmm. "Hey, Becca, you want to come to this party Friday night? I'm having a party, and there'll be a few people there, and I'd really like you to come." So this is where you might want to take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. And then what's going through your mind? Your old thought was, no, everyone's going to be there. Mm -hmm. So how can we reframe that into everyone's going to be there and... Maybe that I would have a good time. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because... I'm sure you don't want to stay home all the time. No. And be no. alone. I like these people. Okay. So so that would be that would be uh, the first step is take a deep breath. You might want, when we're when we're um, almost finished, you can jot some of these things down or I'll, would it, is it more helpful if I write it down for you? Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind taking down that. Okay. So you can take a deep breath and then your immediate thought might be, everyone's going to be there. And then your new thought would be... So what? What if everyone is there? And I like going to parties. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, so let's, let's just... What, what, what did you get out of the session today? Uh, you helped me reframe some of my thoughts. Uh, especially the one in the grocery store where we decided that it's not a big deal if I drop stuff. Because mm-hmm. that's one of my main my main fears, my main anxieties, is that I'm going to drop something and people are going to think that I'm stupid. Mm-hmm. So when we reframed it to it doesn't matter, 
So what if I drop it? It's not a big deal. I think that could really help me the next time I go to the store. Okay. And then from, you're going to come back next week? Mm -hmm. Okay, so between now and then, what I want you to do, I'm going to give you your log, and you're, and you're going to write down some of your thoughts, right? And then and then reframe it to something more rational. And then we can, I'd really like to address later on, like, why you feel you're stupid mm -hmm. and where that came from. But we'll do that a little bit further down the line. Okay. All right, and good. take a deep breath. And I think our time is up. Thank you.